Rescue, Accident and Emergency Department, the team are ready for their next case. Let's meet him. Heading into hospital with a sore and swollen elbow is four-year-old Joseph. Yes, that's you. I fell over. When he came home, he said he'd fell on his elbow. It was still hurting. So how did it happen? And it goes a little something like this. The break time bell rang at school, and Joseph ran outside ready for some fun. Nice gloves. A budding break dancer, he started busting some moves. Good eyebrow action. The footwork was flowing. The crowd were going crazy, gorilla included. When suddenly, Joseph tripped and landed on his arm. Ouch. He's been saying it's not eating him, but there's definitely something wrong with it. Break dancing isn't actually supposed to break anything, but it does look pretty swollen. Yep, I can see it. Thanks, Joseph. Let's get nurse practitioner Julia Maxted in to take a look. Are you going to tell me what you did again? I fell over. <laughs> Got sore. Can you put your arms up in the air? He can't fully straighten his elbow and it's really quite swollen, so I think that he probably has actually broken something there. To find out for sure, nurse Julia sends Joseph for an x-ray. It's the quickest way to spot a broken bone. An X-ray is like a super powerful version of ordinary life, which can pass through your skin. When they meet bones, X-rays stop dead in their tracks and the perfect picture can be taken. With his X-ray done, Joseph just has to wait calmly for the results. Whoa, 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 stop right there. Isn't this how you got yourself in this mess in the first place? Don't worry, the X-ray results are in. Oh, and it looks like there could be a cast on its way. He's got a little break just up here. Where, where he saw the bone's not out of place, it's just got a little break across it, and that's why it's swollen. But at least Joseph's earned himself a sticker. What does that say? I have been very brave. And he's come up <laughs> with a cunning plan. If my arm breaks, this one. Yes. I'll have two stickers. Well, your maths is good, but it's probably better to have two good arms than two good stickers. Someone plaster him up before he hatches any more harebrained plans. With a sling on, time for a finishing touch. Another sticker. I should put that, I should put it on there so everyone can see. There you go. Boy, what you say? All right, mate, no worries. Phew, and he didn't even have to break his other arm to get it. Bye-bye. Bye. Ouch. In A&E, our next patient has had an unusual accident. Luckily, he's in the right place to get sorted. Fee you! Let's see who's in Liverpool's accident and emergency waiting room. My name is Ben. This is Ruby. This is Scarlett. Nice to meet you. What's up? When I was climbing up the stairs with my socks off. Yes. It's the only way that I could get up there quicker. Right. I fell on the strong part of the slide and I broke my arm. That will do. It certainly will. Let's piece that together, shall we? Ben was having a good time playing in the fun park with his two sisters. He was running and climbing all over the place. Looks fun. But his socks were making him slip, so he took them off. Ew, could be smelly. No, Zan, that's your feet. Anyway, sockless Ben climbed even higher. But on the way up, he slipped and slammed his arm. Ouch! After a quick trip to X-ray, the next stop is minor injuries. Where nurse practitioner Sarah Jackson is waiting. Have a look at your hand, then. Be careful, though. I will be very careful. Nurse Sarah carefully checks that Ben's arm is working properly. Can you wriggle your fingers for me? And have you had a picture? Yeah, two oh, pictures. Two pictures. Should we go and have a little look and see what you've done? Yeah. Then she checks his x-rays. Looking at the x-ray, I saw two small buckle fractures. That's those bulges there. What we're going to do is we're going to pop him in a splint. He needs to keep the splint on for three weeks, OK? And What's a splint? It's like a magic plaster. Magic. This goes on your hands, OK? Now Ben gets his splint on, this supports his arm and keeps it straight while his bones heal. And will I have to go to school like this? Yeah, he has to school like that. With that answered, he's off. Have you learned anything today, Ben? I'm going to be more careful with my arm. Glad to hear it. Be quiet, guys. Well sorted, Ben. Bye, Bye girls. Bye, Bye ben. ben.